How's it going? In this video I'm going to show you how to make an awesome Indiana Jones fertility idol replica from Indiana Jones in the Raiders of the Lost Ark. We want to start by first obtaining our STL file. I've included the link for the one I found on Thingiverse down below in the description. It's free and it's fantastic. Take the STL and send it to your slicer of choice. I'm using Ultimaker Cura. And here you're going to want to choose all the settings that you normally like to do with your printer. I printed this one in dynamic quality with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. I've also chosen to do 15% infill and normal supports at a 4% support density. As you can see some of my supports failed but that didn't even matter because the ears printed just fine. We're going to move the raft and the supports from the print so that we can start doing our initial sanding of the print. I use small pieces of sandpaper and sanding twigs to get an initial sand all over the idol as best I could. I started with 120 grit and then moved up to 220 grit. Some areas of the print are going to need a lot more work to clean up. So for this we're going to use wood filler or Bondo glazing and spot putty to fill in the gaps and make it nice and smooth. The wood filler might need to be applied in a couple different layers to get it smoother. Just take your time on this step. The more even coverage you can get, the better. Once our wood filler or other filler compound of your choice is done drying, we can then sand that down. Now we're going to start our filler primer stage. Now where I live, I only have access to the normal filler primer, but if you can get the two-in-one filler sandable, that is going to be so much better. Filler primer goes on really thick and helps to even out all the layer lines and all the scratch marks from the sandpaper. As you can see, we've still got lots of layer lines, so we're going to go ahead and sand this thing again and then do a second layer of filler primer. Just be careful with your use of filler primer because it might start to fill in all the details that you actually want to keep on the print. Once this layer of filler primer is dry, I'm going to use 220 grit sandpaper all over the idle again in a combination of picks and files to try to clean out all the details and then I'm going to recut the grooves back in all the way down the back of the idol. After that, move up in grit for sandpaper to get finer detail and smooth it out even better. You can go ahead and do this until you get a finish that you like. Now we want to paint the idol and completely cover it in the most shiny black we possibly can. I'm using this 500 degree engine enamel because it's much much more glossy and reflective than any gloss black spray paint I've found. If you want to get it even shinier, use a clear gloss and cover that all again. Use this step to inspect the idol and make sure that it's got the finish you want. If there's any imperfections, the metallic paint's going to make it even worse. Now you need to select your gold spray paint. If you have an airbrush, there's a lot of really good options for you, however I don't. So I'm going to end up using the normal Rust-Oleum metallic paint. Just keep in mind that this metallic paint cannot be clear coated. If you clear coat it, it's going to completely fog up and ruin your shine. I'm not going to be clear coating this idol at all. Now if you want it to look nice as a display piece, I recommend printing out a base and then you're done. This is the idol and uh, I really hope you guys like it and I hope you guys can follow along and do the same yourself. Again, the STL links are in the description. Go support these creators. They made some awesome models. And if you guys have any questions, uh, leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you.